Welcome to CFI's Economics for Capital Markets course. In this course, we're going to start by exploring economic events and how to distinguish between economic indicators and economic releases. Then we'll move on to central banks and how they conduct monetary policy. We'll go through a case study as well as go over the largest central banks in the world and their key policy measures. Afterwards, we'll dive deeper into economic indicators and we'll also point out the ones that you should be familiar with. Let's go back and focus on economic indicators for a moment. As you will recall, economic indicators tend to be more numbers based. So the numbers generally fall into three measures. The first of which is volume. That's generally a quantity such as barrels of oil or numbers of homes sold. Second type of number we'll see is price. And that's a market price of that thing, say the price of a barrel of oil or the consumer price index. Lastly, we'll see the market value of something, say production of oil over a year or set of interest rates. The relationship between these three types of figures can be captured in a very straightforward formula where volume times price equals value. Other things to consider when looking at economic indicators would be whether the figure is absolute, whether it's an index, or whether it's a time series, which means that it changes over time, say year over year. Lastly, many figures use moving averages and or seasonal adjustments to smooth out the data and to take out erratic moves. The concepts discussed in this course will be a foundation in future courses when we go into derivatives, options, and bonds in more detail. By understanding the fundamental economic decisions involved, you'll be able to build upon that and learn more about financial markets. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so let's get started.